Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I have another one of the uh, Master Universe Origins figures to show you and it is another one of the deluxe figures. So it's deluxe figures that came out with series 7 so you may have seen a few weeks ago we unboxed um, the remaining figures in series 7 and now we're going to have a look at um, the deluxe figures. So the first one I've got is Flying Fists He-Man. So um, it's got his um, a shield, his sword and then obviously the flying fists um, sort of device. Obviously we've got a couple of heads and then obviously the comic book. So we'll um, we'll have a look at this and um, see how it goes. You can see the cross sell on the back. So you've got the four figures we've already shown you in the range and then the two deluxe figures. So we'll get um, flying fists He-Man um, out of his box. Is well in here, so it is difficult to get this um, this box open. There we go. There we go. We should be able to just prize He Man out. Get the comic out first of all, and then pull the figure out. And obviously, need to get to the um, weapons and um, bits and bobs for him. So. Um, there's his um, old flying fist contraption. Spinning shield. Ooh, lots of spare hands. There's his sword. Where's his hand gone? It's on the floor somewhere. We'll find them in a minute. Um, we have got a spare head, but I think we'll just keep the head that's already on him. So there's everything out of the box. So there's a hand disappeared somewhere below me, but um, we'll not worry too much about that. So let's get this He-Man out of the um, packaging. As per usual, he's well, um, well secured with these, um, these clip ties. So we shall try very hard not to do any damage while getting him out. I do love these clip ties and getting the figures into the packets and really, really... Um, Making sure they don't move anywhere. There's one, and the other one on the arm. That's him out. And we'll pop that down with the, um, the back. So here you have Flying Fist He Man. So this figure does seem to have a little bit of playability. So you've got, um, you've got a bit of um, swing in action on the figure. So you can see that um, as we um, move it around. So first one of the figures with any sort of um, actions to him. So the arms go up and down as you move him around by the waist. So that is a nice, a nice feature to have the first one of these Origins figures with any sort of um, movement on the figure. But you can see that there with the arms. So rather nice. Um, Looking at the figure itself, so he's got this full battle armor on. Um, it does look quite cool with the um, old metallic sheen to it, and um, with the large um, H on the chest. Obviously, the usual brown loincloth and orange belt with the brown boots, with the white fur around the top. Obviously, with his orange garments on there. Let's start popping these um, accessories um, on. Um, I do think this should be able to fit on his back in some way. Um, I'll have a look at that. We've got the um, spinning, spinning fist. Yeah, and spinning sort of shield, which is quite a cool um, sort of contraption. So um, we can pop that onto the um, the hand and um, wrist of him. Well, there you go, that's got the shield on. And then obviously he has his sword, which will just pop into his um pop into his other hand. So I do want to put the flying fist contraption on the um on the back just for display purposes. Um just would so it fit um a bit better on display. So I'll have a look how that actually um goes on and fits on his um fits on display, but you can like like I say move him around and get his um sword and shield going. 
So if we do that and show you really close up that you just spin it and the arms do move. So that is quite a nice feature. As I say, this is a, um, a strange sort of contraption. I do think you can clip it on the back, to be honest with you, um, somehow. But I just need to work out how it um, how it does sort of. Uh, I think that's it. I'm trying to clip it the wrong way. That's it. You can pop it on his back. Uh, so he's got his flying fists at the back there. And um, there is the um, full figure. Looking absolutely excellent. So we'll take flying fists here, man. And put him, pop him onto the display and get him in with the other figures and um, see how he looks in the full collection. So, another one ticked off the list the um, Deluxe Flying Fist He Man. So, guys, there you can see Flying Fist He Man added into the collection. So, another one of the um, Deluxe He Man figures um, added into the collection. And I think my actual fifth He Man. To, to be perfectly honest with you, you can see the full collection as we um as we pan out, um looking all nice and um nice and full. We've got some more on the way, so looking forward to getting them unboxed. But as, as always, the collection is progressing quite well. Um, like I say, there's um, there's another deluxe figure for series seven to get series seven fully finished up. So we'll get that unboxed in the next video. But um, really pleased with um, Flying Fist He Man there and in the collection. So guys, they have another Origins figure into the collection and um, unboxed for you. Um, so um, one more of the deluxe figures for Series 7 to come, which we'll do in the next um, Masters of the Universe video. And then I've got currently two other figures um, to finish off Series number 8 um, after that. So we'll probably get onto them um, following the, um, the next um, deluxe figure. Um, but as always, in the comments, let me know what you think to this um, Master Universe um, He-Man figure. Um, the Flying Fist version. Um, really cool looking armour I think on it. I think it's um, a really, really um, fetching figure. So I'm really pleased to have added it into the collection. Um, also, um, if you haven't previously, please subscribe to the channel. I am um, trying to bring you some, lots of regular videos. Um, and we are getting to doing a few shorts now and then as well. So um, a bit of figure appreciation. So um, well, worth, um, well worth the look. And um, if you, as I say, just um, subscribe to the channel if you have enjoyed it. Otherwise, that's it for tonight. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.